I just want to start by saying um, congratulations to Wake Forest on a fabulous season. Uh, certainly one of the toughest teams we've faced all season long. Um, I think probably the first opponent that's hold, held us to our first shot in the 58th minute of the game. And that was just through stingy defense and, and the team that was working hard. And we had a lot of trouble breaking down. So um, a very good side that we beat today. Proud of the way that our team came together. I didn't think it was our best performance, but I thought we stayed together. We've been proud of this family and being 28 strong all season long. Um, and I think over time, our depth um, started to, to be in our benefit and, and wear them down a little bit. And we were able to, as the game wore on, we were able to find our legs and, and get stronger as the game wore on. And, and as I said, just really proud of the way our team battled tonight. We'll start with questions with Matt. Hey, Coach. Hey, Matt. Uh, first of all, you mentioned during the week that flank play was going to be super important during the game. How did you combat their, their outside players today? You know, I thought that their outside players did a really nice job. We had a, we had a hard time with them in the first half of the game. And to be honest, in the second, I thought both 10 and 14 were, were getting the best of us a bit. Uh, Franny Krause was very good in the first half of the game, served a lot of dangerous balls over to Laura Frygang. Um, so it was a good battle, as we expected, on both sides of the ball. Um, but again, I, I think that was a great strength of Wake Forest and something that we really struggled with, something we're going to have to go back and watch film and, and figure out how to minimize going forward. The goals today were two of the pre-year goals that you guys have scored. It is. You know, we went through that stretch. You were there with us, Matt, where um, goals weren't coming easy. And we talked about it didn't matter what the goals looked like. They could be ugly goals. They could be off your thigh, your nose. It didn't matter. Um, but tonight's goals were, were special. Um, obviously, Alina put herself in a good spot in that opening goal. Um, and then Laura Frygangs was one, one for the ages, I felt. Um, but those guys are playing with confidence. Our attack is finally starting to find their form and playing with a ton of confidence over the last five, six games. Um, and obviously, this is the time of the year when you want to find that form. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you. Questions? Those goals weren't just impressive. They were very timely. You had the one from Wake that kind of made it in between Rose's legs. She's yeah. able to stop it almost on the goal line. And then you go down a couple of minutes later and put one in to take a lead. How big of a momentum swing was that? Well, you hit the nail on the head. It's all about the moments and the momentum swing. In fact, I talked to our, our um, volleyball coach this week, Russ Rose, because it's something that they talk about a ton in volleyball and how do you um, minimize the moments when your opponent is on top of you. And I felt like there were moments that Wake was all over us. Um, and how do you deal with that those waves? And th for us, it's just communication and talking each other through it, staying positive, um, and then we get back on top of that game. So I thought it was a lot of ebbs and flows. And obviously the, the goals came at a, time, at a good time, and then that second goal kind of put that nail in the coffin, but Wake kept coming. I give them a ton of credit. They just kept coming at us, put a ton of dangerous balls across the box, got a little lucky at times, to be honest. Um, and like I said, we'll have to tighten some things up going forward. Can you put into perspective a little bit Laura's hot streak of late? <laughs> I mean, what, eight goals in the last eight games? She scored like half of your team's goals in that stretch. That's pretty impressive at a big time for you guys. It is. Laura Fragang's a big-time player, and um, it's been that way since she walked in the door. The difference now is she's a big-time player within the structure of our team. And, uh, you know, she's, she's special. She's a special talent, but now she's part of the Penn State program. It's taken some time to really integrate her um, with all of her special qualities and her international play. Um, and we knew that that would take time, and she was, she's been patient. Our team has been patient. She's been in and out of the lineup, to be honest, and she's just been a great team player, a great teammate, and now you just see it all paying off, and it's just been to her attitude and to the team's attitude and credit that we've been able to pull it together. I know you don't know who you're going to play next, but either way you slice it, you're going to get a little bit of a rival, either a conference foe or a long-standing rival with WVU. So what's that going to mean as far as familiarity with the opponent? Well, uh, we've got some uh, losses to avenge with both of those two. Um, so both of them, I think, uh, sparks a lot of pride within our team. And as far as we're concerned, um, we're just excited to learn who it is. Uh, respect both those staffs, both of those programs so much. They've had tremendous seasons. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, when I think about both of them, I think about the different ways. But great defense is great offense, and they're going to be a challenge either way.